Chat 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 Market is Thailand's largest market with 15,000 stalls, 11,500 vendors spread across 27 sections. And this is me arriving on the back of a grab bike. YouTube world, welcome. My name is Katie if you're new around here, but if you're not new, of course, welcome back, love. And yes, we did the other side because I've been very, very stressed over this past week and everything flares up when I'm stressed. But I hope you are doing well. Today's video is obviously going to continue on from the Thailand vlog. Haven't done a video sort of telling you and showing you for a little while. So basically, if you haven't seen the first type of vlog, I will shove it up in the corner and it will be in the description below if you would like to see that one. But this, you're not missing anything if you haven't already seen it. This is all brand new information. This is going to be brand new vlog type. Me talk about things and then throw up some footage from when I was there. That's essentially what this will be. I just want to go over a few things, show you some few things, um, and just give you a couple of tips while I remember, really. Thailand is becoming increasingly popular, especially with UKers. When I went over there, I knew that I was going to love it, but I just didn't realise how much I was going to love it. So I am doing everything in my power to try and work myself <laughs> some sort of life where I can afford to go back there for longer than a week. And so there may be quite a few of you that have thought about going to Thailand, especially before the law changes. And I thought I would just, you know, give you a little bit of insight, give you some hints and tricks and tips, just in case you are thinking of going. So this market, this is where it is located and it is absolutely huge. I'm going to throw in a little bit of footage in the market and around some of the stalls. But there is also a clip, uh, there's a few clips actually, that are on landscape mode. So I'm very, very sorry about that. However, I do still want you to see it. So you'll know about that because we'll talk about that later in the video when that comes up. But for the time being, I thought I would just tell you, yeah, Chow Chak Market is absolutely huge. You know, 15,000 stalls, 11,500 vendors. And it's basically like this massive area that's split into like, sections where you've got like alleyways and you just go down and look at all of the different things that everybody has for sale there is so much so much variety everything there is super affordable you can barter as well so don't be afraid to sort of go down a little bit and see how they take it something important to note even though it is a big outdoor market you are not allowed to smoke anywhere in the market so before you actually enter in there is a section outside that you can smoke so highly recommend that you stand there before you go in and then when you come out. So I'm going to show you a bit of footage now going round the market, looking at some of the stalls, what you can get. But to be honest, even though it's such a huge market and you might be worried about missing something because you can't get to the other side. Don't worry about that because most of the stuff repeats anyway. So if you see something that's for sale in one section, the likelihood is if you walk down into another section somewhere, they're going to be selling that as well, usually at the same sort of price. Loving it. Young man, I feel myself burning. Oh my god, it's so hot. It is incredibly hot. 
in Thailand. And one of the main tips I can tell you is pack light and bring comfortable walking shoes. And I mean super comfortable walking shoes. Like even my trainers were hurting my feet. Like I wanted to get a foot massage every single night. I should have got more. I only got two out of the week and I really should have got more, but you are going to be walking so, so much and it just, it kills. It, it takes a toll on your feet. So please make sure that you bring the most comfortable shoes ever. But also saying that, make sure that they are stable shoes as well, because Thailand's walkway, its pavement is fucked. It really is like there's no, you know, real way I can kind of express it to you other than that. It's not really flat. There's cracks in it. There's all sorts of lumps and bumps. So do not wear high heels. Do not wear anything that has any tiny bit of a heel. Trust me, don't try and look good. All right. Nobody's trying to do it out there. All right. I brought wedges. They stayed on my feet for about an hour before I said to the guys, I've got to go home and change because I was like about to break my ankle with the amount of cracks that I was falling into. And for what? For what? To try and look good with wedges? Just don't do it, all right? Just don't fucking do it. No one cares what you look like, all right? It's so hot out there. No one cares. Don't try and impress anyone. Honestly, do not go there to try and impress. It's just not going to fucking work. So now that I've passionately spoken about that, make sure that you, again, pack lightly as well, right? Because again, it's so hot out there that you will, if you're someone that sweats like me, I just sweat like a pig, you will go through clothes. I had to change like twice, sometimes three times a day because I wasn't happy with the clothes that I was wearing. And one of them was just a long flowing skirt. And I had to change out of the skirt into shorts because it was just was too hot. So I don't know how these Thai people that are out every single day and then at the weekend, you know, for the night um, weekend market, they're out there in the blistering heat selling their stuff all day long. Like, it's insane. And then now I'll show you the clip that I want to show that isn't in landscape, but... This is why I love Thailand, right? Like, everybody's there having fun, and then you've just got this guy that takes things up a little notch and makes it even more fun. <laughs> <laughs> I love Thailand. I love Thailand. It was great. He was just having such a laugh, just, you know, throwing it up and going, oh, and then catching it right in front of her. And I was just like, I love it. I love it. Like, you just. You used to get things like that in the UK, but I swear you don't really get that anymore. Like, everybody's too zoned out to what they're doing. They wouldn't even notice that somebody's being so whimsical like that. Just to express to you guys, like, just how hot and humid it is over there. When I went at the end of February, um, I went from the 27th of February to the 6th of March, it was at its highest, 36. I still follow vloggers in Thailand right now, and it's currently 38 degrees Celsius, of course. So the humidity will kill you as well. It's like 95% humidity, right? So what's really nice is that outside, when you go around on the streets and there's, you know, restaurants and little places for you to sit down at, there are fans pretty much everywhere. Because it's outside, they can't have AC, it's just not going to fucking work. So they have these big, like, desk fans that are huge, and they are usually situated throughout the restaurant um, on the sections where people can sit and you can feel it. But they also have some restaurants, they have fans above you as well. So I'm going to throw in a little clip here of a place that we sat down and ate at, and it was just lovely because... As I looked up, I could see that they had these like wind chimes and these little lights and flowers that were all intertwined with the fans.
and it's just really nice you know they know how hot it is they know that nobody's going to be able to sit there without some sort of fan aid on them so moving over to temples now there are a few temples that we went into and there are many 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 temples across all of thailand of course and some of them have different rules so some of them you have to be covered with your shoulders and covered below the knees some of them you don't have to do that at all some of them you have to take off your shoes before you enter some of the sort of worshipping temple sections and some of them you just walk around just as you literally walk down the road you can like see a temple there and you can just walk in and look through the temple I really loved that they played that song on constant repeat it was just so calming like it felt really nice and calming to just sit there as this chant was happening as i knew it was in like a sacred place and it was just an experience you know to see that anybody could go there at any time it's open for all for free you don't have to cover up you don't have to take your shoes off and how beautiful was that and then there was another time that we just hopped in a tuk-tuk and decided to go to one of the probably most popular temples over there, uh, Wat Po. And this features the large Buddha. And when I say large, it's huge. But I didn't bring anything to cover up with. And obviously I was wearing a cropped, well, not a crop top, but like, you know, a short top and shorts. So my shoulders were showing, my, my knees were showing. And I was like, oh shit, I'm not going to be able to get in. But don't worry, if this is you, don't worry. You might not want to do it, but I just embraced it to tell you the truth. They gave us the sort of temple coverings. And there was this separate sort of headpiece that had like a hole in it. And you just went over and it was like a shoulder poncho. And then there was this skirt. And it was a huge long skirt that went down to my ankle. So I had to roll it up a couple of times, you know, just to make sure it was past the knees, but not so I was tripping over it. So I wholeheartedly embraced it. And I'll shove up a picture here of what it looked like. So just be aware that you may need to cover up uh, this goes for men as well you know make sure that your shorts are over your knees make sure that you have a t-shirt on uh, covering your shoulders otherwise you will get given a covering but it was incredible you know absolutely incredible this this temple was just wow factor i mean the whole of thailand is wow factor really but there truly is some incredible architecture in that country that makes you just wow, you know, just wow. That's all I can say.
And finally, I have to talk about the food, of course. May, it's just everything you've heard about is true. The food is lovely. It's super affordable. Street food's available everywhere. But if you don't want Thai food, you can always get Western food as well. However, you will be paying over the odds. It's pretty much the same price, if not more. The same McDonald's. Burger King, Taco Bell, KFC, Pizza Hut, Domino's. If you want any of that, be prepared that you are going to pay over the odds because like a standard chicken pad Thai will cost you 50 to 60 baht and that's around £1 to £1.20 and that's like a whole portion as well. One of my favourite things to do was to get the vegetable spring rolls that would be on one of the street vendors and they would give you four spring rolls, but they would chop them up into two and then give you two chopsticks, put the chopsticks into like one of the pieces of the spring rolls, put it into a little takeaway tub with a side pot of sweet chili sauce. However, I've never had such hot sweet chili sauce from in Thailand. Like what they give us over here, that blue dragon shit, that is nothing compared to what their standard sweet chili sauce is. That's not even like added heat or anything like that. And all of that would also cost you like a pound. You can also get soup, rice dishes, other sorts of dishes. I had pizza, but again, that was, I think, 350 baht. So you're looking at like eight, nine pounds for a pizza. Because it's Western, you're going to pay more. But if you like Thai food, then I highly recommend that you take a trip out there. There are so many different influences as well. So like you don't just get Thai food. There are many people over there from Indonesia or um, Cambodia. There's a lot of uh, Thailand borders four countries, isn't it? I think that's right. So you get a lot of influence that come from there as well. If you are somebody that doesn't eat pork, then be careful because most of the dishes in Thailand is pork. So you will have to look at, there'll be 15 dishes available and only three of them will be like chicken and beef. The rest of them will be pork. Make sure that you go to either a halal restaurant or you just make sure you get chicken or anything like that. I didn't eat any seafood. I'm not a fan of seafood, but I also wouldn't ever eat it anyway if I was there. Like I just, I don't know, I don't, don't trust seafood. I was ill once in my life from a bad prawn and it took, it just, pfft turned me for life and that was in the UK that was actually in Ipswich to tell you the truth uh many many years ago but I got seriously it was the illest I've ever been in my fucking life and I don't ever want to go through that again I thought I was dying so I don't touch seafood um let me know if you've been to Thailand and, and you've had the seafood and like whether it's all right I still won't eat it but it'll be interesting to see whether you have and if there's any you know watchers right now that are interested in seafood then pop down your favorite places you know because it just help everybody out but we are done for today there is so much I could talk about but I don't really want to make the video long there is plenty of other vlogs I have that I can showcase other information and bits and pieces of the trip but I'd love to know whether you've been to Thailand or whether you're thinking of going to Thailand because I told you I want to go back so if you haven't been make sure you are fully aware that when you get back you are going to be like super depressed and you're going to want to do anything you can to get back whether you come from the uk america or any europe country or anywhere i'm telling you now that place seems to have a hold on people like it just makes you want to go back i hope you've enjoyed my little vlog type series video thing Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked it, please feel free to like the video and send it out to the YouTube rhythm. And then other people that like Thailand may watch this or are thinking about it. Above all else, if you haven't already and you would like to, you gained any value out of this video, please feel free to subscribe. I'm on my way to 5,000. Hopefully doing really, really well actually at the moment in going there. So yeah, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. And I will see you guys in the next video. Massive thank you to my members coming up now.